Welcome to Imperfect in an Uncertain World, Resources for Living with Authenticity and Purpose. Have you ever gotten to the point where you feel like you can't go on any further? You're fatigued and you wonder, am I there yet? Let's talk about how to muster that last burst of energy that keeps you mindfully focusing in the moment. I'm going to begin by asking you, have you ever taken a longish journey with a child? I'm remembering those times when my son was young that we would take journeys. And before setting out, we would stuff every distraction imaginable into the back seat because we knew it was going to be a long journey and we knew our child would get disgruntled at the journey. So then we're cruising along, dreading the inevitable. When out of the back seat comes are we there yet? So if you're like me at this point in 2020, you feel like that small child wondering if we will ever put this year behind us and get to the destination 2021. You may even be hopeful and excited about what the new year will bring. I know that I am. But then I go back because you know I'm always really big about the reframe. I look at it and I think there really have been silver linings in 2020. It's been a year filled with lots of intuitive messages, and I know there have been plenty of distractions, but it's been a, a time of meeting challenges and really learning life lessons. But I got to tell you, I still cannot wait to get out of the car and stretch my legs into the hope that 2021 brings. Now, again, if you're like me, that last stretch of the journey is what proves most daunting. I'm fatigued. Most of my friends, colleagues, and clients are too. I find myself wondering if I can muster the strength, the energy, the hope to make it through these last waning weeks of 2020. Then I remind myself that the journey is undertaken mile marker by mile marker, moment by moment. And mindfulness techniques contemplative practice, and intuitive understanding pave the way through this waning year into the waxing next. But what's the key? It's living in awareness in order to recognize the impact of each moment. So how do we pave the path with mindfulness techniques, contemplative practice, and intuitive understanding? Well, let's break those down. Let's begin with mindfulness techniques. Now, my go-to technique is focusing on my breath. So you can do that at any point in any day. You can just focus on the inhale and the exhale. Through it, I settle into the moment, and I really increase my awareness of where I am on the stretch of the road. I connect more fully to my body, hear my thoughts, and attend to the impact of my emotions. My breath forges a path where my contemplative spirit flourishes contemplative practice. Now for me, there's a blurred area between mindfulness techniques and contemplative practice. Um, but when I am contemplative, I focus on the moment. I intentionally travel the final stretch of 2020 attuned to what is occurring. And with this awareness, I use my energy wisely. And using that energy, I learn how to respond and not to react. And when I don't react, I find that I maintain my energy and I'm less fatigued. The third part of this triad is intuitive understanding. Now, when I'm contemplative, the world comes alive in extraordinary ways. I truly experience each step holistically. I experience it with my body, with my mind, with my spirit, and with my heart are my emotions. My senses come alive with the voice of intuition. And in the moment, I use these messages to navigate the gateway between now and then. My intuition becomes my GPS. So I might not be there yet, but it's helping me to get there. So I'm going to say we need not trudge the last step of 2020 exhausted and fearful. Instead, we can mindfully contemplatively and intuitively journey through our interactions with both the internal and the external. And that's important. Whatever's going on inside of us, 
we need to pay attention to what's going on externally. Whatever is happening inter externally, we need to pay attention to what's happening inside of us. But with the triad of mindfulness, contemplation, and intuition, we do just that. We navigate through the uncertainty, be it internal or external, and respond to the world. And I have to tell you, while we're not there yet, we are enjoying the journey through this waning year. And that's what it's about. It's about enjoying and really learning and getting knee deep into what we're experiencing at the end of 2020. So I want to thank you for listening to this, for watching my video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you really want a deep dive into how you can use mindfulness techniques, contemplative practice, and intuition to live your life more fully, to really create or to be aware of that internal GPS, give me a shout out. I'd love to work with you as a um, spiritual mentor. I would love to work with you uh, in creating that pathway for yourself. Um, more resources are available at VanessaFHurst.com. But I have to say, no matter what you do, as you trudge through the rest of this waning year, really find ways to release the fatigue and to live as your best contemplative self. Thank you and have a great day.